On this episode of Breakdown, we join Super Chevy Magazine at Art Morrison Enterprises to test two suspensions for the classic Camaro. I'm Craig Morrison with Art Morrison Enterprises, and behind me is our 69 Camaro that we built up using our front and rear suspension components. We're out here today to settle the debate about three-link versus triangulated four-bar rear suspensions. So the way we're going to test it is we're going to go out and do skid pad and slalom with the three-link, and then we're going to swap the bars out and install the triangulated four-bar suspension and do the same test. And we're using the exact same car, exact same tires, everything else, so we'll be able to do a real scientific apples to apples comparison. This is Breakdown. Exclusively at autostream.com slash yoparts. The way it works is that there's two parallel bars and then there's a single bar on the top of the solid axle out back. And what it does is that it really lets the rear end itself articulate. From a packaging standpoint, it is a bit of a challenge because you have that upper bar and a lot of times that will break through the stock floor pan and get into the rear seating area and that sort of thing. It works really great for all out track day enthusiasts. <laughs> I think the biggest thing we learned on the three link is the fact that because of all the adjustments that are available, then it just works out absolutely wonderful. The slalom course wound up at close to 51 mile an hour, which is, is great. Skid pad numbers with the three link, we were, we were fiddling with the thing. What our engineer Matt did was look at it and say, God, let's raise the roll center just a bit because it's one of the adjustability uh, features of the three link. Once we did that, we took the car back out and the Right, the first time, 0.99 G on the skid pad. Those are great numbers for the 69 Camaro. Uh, the triangulated four bar is a pair of parallel bars down below, and then the upper links are triangulated, and that gives a nice stable roll center from a packaging aspect, it will fit below the stock floor pan in most instances. My hope is that it does that it does very, very similar numbers, but we'll find out here in a few minutes. <laughs> The numbers were actually pretty phenomenal. We proved that with the 69 Camaro body, we were able to get these sorts of numbers with it. That is pleasing overall, with, actually with both suspensions. Okay, so you've seen the numbers, now what's the verdict? <laughs> what this is going to wind up doing now is just is feeding more of that, uh, uh, of that fodder, the, the versus between the triangulated four bar and the, uh, and the three length. Join us next time on Breakdown, where we test mods, settle disputes, and try to break stuff. See this and more at autostream.com. You can find us on the web at www.artmorrison.com or call us toll free at 1 800 929 7188. It's like Walmart had a sale on gears. It's a Fobgina. I don't know what else to call it. The Evo bends the earth to its will. This car is impossible to drive slowly. 